I'm getting ready to make uh, acorn squash stuffed with ratatouille. So let me get the ratatouille going and then I'll explain how to prepare the acorn squash. I'm pouring about a quarter of a cup of olive oil in my frying pan. You don't want to put in too much because the eggplant absorbs a lot of oil and then you tend to add more oil and then you have a greasy mess. So add less than you think. I'm gonna heat that up a little bit and I can talk a little bit about this acorn squash. Uh, it looks like this when it's whole. When you cut it in half, uh, it's full of seeds. You have to scoop the seeds out with a spoon. And then I found that the easiest way of cooking them is by wrapping each half in saran wrap or plastic wrap, putting it in the microwave uh, on a plate, on a microwave safe plate for about seven minutes. Let it sit for about a minute uh, so that you don't burn yourself and then carefully pull off the plastic wrap and you have your acorn squash fully cooked. Uh, the old way, frankly, used to be steaming it in the oven uh, in about an inch of water, and that used to take more time, and then you had all the water. So these are perfectly cooked acorn squash, and they will become the receptacles for the ratatouille. So first I'm adding chopped up onion and garlic. Stirring that around. So in this bowl, I've got chopped up um, eggplant and zucchini and tomatoes and red peppers. And I've tried to cut them all about the same size, about a quarter inch. Um, if you choose a half inch, try to make them all a half inch. The uniformity of the vegetables means that they will all cook at the same time and you will end up with some that are uh, cooked and some that are not cooked. It also looks much more attractive um, and will fit into the cavity of the acorn squash better. So now our vegetables are in. Oops, lost a few. Stir that around so all the vegetables are covered with the oil and the onions and the garlic. And you can start to smell it as the heat hits everything. Okay, give it a little hit of salt and a little pepper. The salt actually makes it cook faster besides giving it flavor. Then you lower the heat after you've got that all done. Whoops, lower the heat. You cover your pan and let it cook slowly uh, for about 10 minutes. And you check on it every once in a while to be sure that it's not sticking to the pan and resist the, the temptation to add more oil because you really don't need it. It will all cook down perfectly just like it is. This is the ratatouille that's all finished and actually cooled off a bit. I'm gonna taste it and see what it needs. Oh, that's really good. I'm gonna add a little more basil because you really can't have too much basil. Stir it up and then fill the cavities of this acorn squash that I've cooked in advance. Excuse my fingers, but sometimes you can't avoid using your hands. And there you go, you have a lovely uh, side dish. You have a, a main dish for vegetarians. You can cut it in in half again, and uh, it's a wonderfully filling and healthy vegetarian dish.